what brought me into making my artwork is through trying to understand the world and trying to contribute to positive social change through learning diverse fields and connecting these crossover fields. Um, I guess later in life I've realised that I'm an activist artist and um, so I feel that art is a really great way of communicating how society can be more progressive. I am a sculptor and a curator and a facilitator of second space projects. I identify as lightning, neurodiverse and non-binary. My practice has spanned for over two decades, starting with drawing as a toddler, dance as a teenager, going on to painting. My undergraduate and master's degrees are in sculpture. I'm also informed by my masters of design. I'm working on towards, towards submitting my PhD in visual art over the next few months. Um, I create process driven sculpture, photography and performance installations. My transdisciplinary performative installations aim to upturn binary narratives through learning from the trickster. I will introduce my artwork by this video, which describes my process driven practice sparked by lightning within the fields of indigenous knowledge, the trickster, feminist philosophy, process, and the origins, origins of lightning, such as supernova and cosmic rays. I see all the work that I'm doing as sculpture, whether it be performance or printed work on silk. I was really inspired by a quote on Scotch. He was asked if he was the AC or the DC, and he said that he was neither, he was the light in between. For Bon Scott to say he's the lightning in the middle, I had to start researching lightning. I often see the deep meaning into, into where I want to go with my work, but I don't completely comprehend that deep meaning until I start researching. If we are stardust and we are highly charged particles, how can we be male or female? How can we be young or old? And that's why I'm uh, printing on silk. I see it as alive, I see it as activated. Where, the, where, where we are in society. I couldn't go to my, my regular studio, so I was working with objects that I could work from home with and having, yeah, I, I, I developed a project. I developed two major projects called the Dining Room R&D Lab and um, Inside the Plasma Ball. And I'm really proud of those projects.